Rock Stage. from the Gambia to the world as we always present you every Monday on the highest frequency. This is Paradise the Heavenly ENCO host is backstage. I thank everybody who following the show on the radio and via YouTube watching us live from the Gambia as I said we take it from here to the world and today is a great afternoon. 
the sun hot and the lights hot, but still we we feeling the vibe. It's been reggae music and dance all coming from the Gambia, and uh, we thank you for the support that you have always and taking your time listening to the show and uh, watching us. We always like to hear your comments and your SMS and all that. You know what I mean? And today, no one but one of Gambia's most relevant reggae artists inside the country, Mr. Royal Messenger. Welcome to backstage. You don't know, bless her love. ENC backstage with a strange fall, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It must be, it must, it, it must, it must have been a long journey. Yeah, man, father. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because yeah. I knew Royal Messenger from way back. I can say um, uh, in the almost 2007 was when I got used to you that much via Frontline, my crew, sure. them time. Sure, sure, you know sure. sure. Yeah, man. With Hurricane and yes. others. Yeah, man. Sure. Yes. And yeah, since man. then, it's been reggae music. Mm -hmm. Tell us something about your career. Well, Royal is a, is a, is a humble youth, you mm -hmm. know, the pump and the journey, like, it's been a ages, but still, you know, we're there upon it, you know, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because it's like I spent, spent six months in Gambia and spent six months in Senegal. In Senegal. You know? Because, you know, it's a journey to carry and you don't know. And we never Skylark and Rasta. From a girl's down. Check it down, the girl in me love Check it down, but man no suffer free now Check it down, the girl in me love We'll definitely get to the Senegal, the Senegal breakthrough because um, at the end of the day it's Gambia and Senegal as a, as a joint boundary countries and stuff, yeah, you know what I mean? But when it comes to reggae music, a lot of people may not really realize how it's going in Senegal. Mm -hmm. You are somebody inside that scene right now, representing sure. Gambia in Senegal. Mm -hmm. Tell us that experience. I'm going to ask you a lot more about Senegal. Yeah, man, because Senegal, you know, Senegal is well developed mm -hmm. in terms of music and Senegalese people know music more, you know. I don't say they know music more than we do, but Senegalese, you know, they, 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 they are like developing music and developing different areas. Simply means their, their industry is ahead of us. The industry is more ahead than, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I cannot say this, it's, it's sad to say, but Rasta, you know, is, is developing anyway. Talking about their reggae segment the, of re the, the reggae segment is going big in Senegal. Mm -hmm. It's going big because people like me, they thought I'm a, I, 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 I'm, I'm a Jamaican, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I always tell them that, yo, Rasta, I'm a Gambian, straight from Gambia, you know? Mm -hmm. Because we're Gambian, we're full of talent, you know? Mm -hmm. And there are a lot more, a lot more, more than Royal Messenger in Gambia. Mm -hmm. Because I have invited, e, uh, how to call it again, T. Smalls, mm -hmm. Jamaica, mm -hmm. Melody Bantang. Fireman was one of Fireman your guests. Was, Fireman was there, mm -hmm. and the one called Article. You know, Silky even come there and watch me up, you know? Because, because we do a lot of things in, in Senegal. Nice. You know, because me have a band in Senegal that I work with, you understand? But how did the Senegal breakthrough came for you? Well, you know, I met up with a, with a friend called Mauda. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a Senegalist and he loved music so much. Mm -hmm. but for the first time he had my music, he was crazy. He had to come all the way from Senegal to Gambia to mm -hmm. meet me, you know? So he said, I must go to Senegal. Rasta, you have to come to Senegal. Well, go on. Mm -hmm. Come to Senegal, man. You know, I have a Kia, you know, I have a house, you know, I have no Natal. Come to Senegal, my you. Yo, me tell him, say, yo, I will come to Senegal. But right about now, I need something to grind up, you know, because Gambia is my country. Mm -hmm. And I love my country, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I have to first grind it in Gambia before anyway, you know. Mm -hmm. But him tell me, say, it's vice versa, Rasta. Sure. You have to come to Senegal and do your thing too. Mm -hmm. You can spend some months in Senegal, some months in Gambia. Mm -hmm. So, come to Senegal. So I went there, you know, start doing my thing, but it was crazy, big hype. And I wish you to come there, brother, because, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, I wish every Gambian to come to Senegal. You know, I wish everybody. I used to, to hear a lot of things about Senegal. Um, uh, was it once on Fila or something? I've watched you perform a video sure. in Senegal sure. and the reception from the fans sure. was beautiful. Sure. But it might, it, it must have taken you mm -hmm. some time to push things to the media, the radios, mm -hmm. the TVs and stuff. How is that working with you, going with you, promotional side? Because yeah. a lot of people used to say, mm -hmm. from my own side, I, I know somehow how it goes, but a lot mm -hmm. of people used to say in Senegal, yeah. mm -hmm. it must be difficult for a foreign artist yeah, to man. have that kind of promotional links yeah. to the media like that. Yeah, man. That's very true. But right now, for me, I don't know for others, but for me, it's going good. Because 
I have DJ friends, mm -hmm. you know, that normally plays in the radio for two, twice, three times in the radio. Mm -hmm. You understand? And my father is a Senegalese. Okay. I don't know whether because my father is a Senegalese. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. But, 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 my, okay. but my thing go and go in Senegal. If your dad wasn't a Senegalese, how, yeah. w what difference was it going to be like? Yeah. Was it going to be much more difficult because daddy is not a Senegalese? Yeah. You know, Senegalese are so difficult. <laughs> you know? I mean, trust me, in terms of music. But they love real music, I mean. Mm -hmm. Good music. Mm -hmm. Trust me. They love it. But as a developed country, if you, I mean, I mean, even in Gambia, mm -hmm. I believe that we have to stop foreign music for two years. I mean, so that you can, you can benefit from your career, I and others. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to base on your life, like, listening to foreign music all the time mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. we have to i mean we have to drag the the the, 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 the listeners and the people mm -hmm. i mean in the country mm -hmm. to get used to our music mm -hmm. used to our vibe that's why i don't blame senegalese because mm -hmm. they love their music jaliba is the only artist that i listen to his music in senegal oh. and you have to count it brother mm -hmm. so simply means they are developing because if they play enc song ENC will get, I mean, five dollars or ten dollars. And imagine if ten radio stations have to play ENC. That's a lot of money. That's okay. a lot of money, you know. True. But now, okay, you are in between two countries in this. You've seen the Gambian side and you've seen the Senegalese side. True. If you are to choose right now where to belong to, let me just put you in a funny situation. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay, right now it's six months, six months basically. Sure. All right, if we say, all right, now let's make it ten, ten to two months. Yeah. Where will you spend the 10 months to? 10 months. It will be in Senegal, right? <laughs> <A> tough question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you with that. Okay, yeah. let's bring it back to basics now. <clears throat> How your career started in Gambia too? You were mentioning yeah, about uh, uh, yeah, Banjuli, you were yeah, born yeah, and grown up, you were yeah, complimenting some people. Yeah, yeah, man. How did yeah. your career start in Gambia? Yeah, man, I started my career in, Gamb in Banjuli, you know, because there is where I was born and brought up, you know. Mm. Tobacco Road, you know. Straight, you know, T Road, you don't know. Which year was your first record? My first record, tough question again. The could be around early 90, 99, around 2000, you know? Oh. Yeah, man. That must have been a long time. Long time. Was man. that a reggae song? Yeah, it was a reggae song with some Senegalese people, you know? Okay. You know, because my instinct always dragged me to them, you know, because the people that I started working with was, they, they were Senegalese, you know. Okay. I was in a crew called Peace and Love with my, with, 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 with some friends, you know, and all those friends are Senegalese. I was the only Gambian in. Mm -hmm. So it simply means my instinct always dragged me to the Senegalese people, I don't know whether, because my father is Senegalese or but my instinct always connect me with them, you know. Nice. Let's talk about Gambian reggae dancehall scene at large. Sure. Which, um, if we talk about it at the end of the day, we have to count Royal as a headliner in its tier. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. How do you define our dancehall reggae side? Yeah. How do you see it? Is it moving? Well, it was moving before, you know, because Gambia is a reggae country, trust me. Now the music can, can dominate reggae music in Gambia because because born African and dance and masters and other people always already grind it up, you know. But right now it's kind of, you know, we can't say dead, but it's kind of lacking anyway, you know. Because nowadays people want to bring different, different, I mean, kind of different genre of music, you know. Because I mean, it, does that mean um, uh, it's been affected by other genres or it's been affected by the artists themselves in it? You know, I think, you know, Everybody want to do other music again because even the artists themselves, you know, mm. some reggae artists, they, they, they even quit reggae music now. They want to go to the Afro or go to where by go to other, other, other kind of genre because what I observe in Gambia is you have to sing in your own language for the people to, for, for you to get popular. Or you have to sing in Mandinka or you have to sing in other, 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 I mean, we don't know, other languages, mm -hmm. you know, so. Did that, did that some way or somehow affected your personal career at a point? Why? Because you, you were involved in the reggae dance. Yeah, man. A bit, you know, because, because I myself, other people used to tell me, you can sing, you can sing in Wolof because I'm a Giriot, my two lanes are Giriot, you know, because I have a mama song. 
Mama sang call yai boy. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I sang the whole song like in Wolof. And everything is, you're gonna believe it's royal, a reggae dancehall artist, mm-hmm. if you play the song. You know, because I have it in me because my mother is a girl, mm-hmm. you know. Come marry you, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hello, man. My father is a drummer. Mm-hmm. So, man, man, Lulu Mo is my music. Come, that is my music. That is my, my, my music. I can do it like to the fullest. Mm-hmm. But I choose reggae music, and I believe it's not me who choose reggae music. It's God, because reggae music is a, insp- I mean, it's a spiritual music. Mm-hmm. You know that has to inspire a lot of people. But that no means it will affect my music. Mm-hmm. Because, because still I'm, I'm 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 proceeding with my music. Mm-hmm. Reggae music is a real music. Mm-hmm. I can't do no not a hard without reggae music. I can do dance and other music, but reggae music is my music, you know. Right now, when I double check, um, uh, most of the upcoming artists in the Gambia sure. are coming back to the reggae dance. Sure. Even though they can fuse in the Afro mbala and Afro stuff, and stuff, but when yeah. I go to open mics and mm-hmm. street shows, mm-hmm. and I just build back a watch, I see. Most of the artists who do freestyle segments sure. used to spit on dancehall bits. Sure. It seems like they want to do dancehall or they have dancehall in them, but sure. being affected in a way in the industry. Mm. Now, what kind of advice do you have for those kind of artists? Well, you know, as artists, you know, there is no mission without a vision, you know. You know what I mean? So, you should have a vision, very proper and clear vision that this is what you want to do. Do mm. it straight. Because like how you do it, I like it because you strictly do it, doing dance hall. Do your dance hall thing, you know? Put some couple of reggae on it, but it's your way, it's your lane. You have, you have to have a way, a lane, mm-hmm. you know? Don't be on that lane, you know? Mm-hmm. Strictly that music you have to do. I have to do this, I have to do this. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do as an artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, as an upcoming artist, before you get deep in the music, sit and lean back and know what you want to do in the future because there is no mission without a vision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe in that. I believe yeah, in that. Yeah. In Gambia, um, uh, we believe the open mic is the biggest platform right now when sure. it comes to showbiz. Sure. Um, uh, I don't remember one seeing you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Booked the open mic. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tell sure. me something about that. What's the feeling? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, man. What's, okay, I wouldn't come to if a problem or what, but what's the feeling mm-hmm. if yeah, you, any every year that open mic list come out, mm-hmm. Royal Messenger is not on it and still one of Gambia's finest reggae artists? Yeah, and what, w- w- I mean, what bothers me much is my fans is always, you know, my fans always claim for that, mm-hmm. you know. But me tell them, say, music is music. And, and like, for Wagan and other people, they grind it already. You know, because they've been struggling for a period of long time. Mm-hmm. And they know what they want, you know? You understand? Mm-hmm. And they have the right to, 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 to approach any artist and choose any artist they want. True. But me, me as an artist, I will always work hard, harder and harder mm-hmm. to reach up there. You understand? Because we definitely target Gambia, but I mean, I mean, our our, our target is international. International. You understand? That that, that means yeah, with or without open mic, a real artist is still yeah, a real man. artist. A real artist is still a real artist. No. You you did this mixtape. Yeah, man. Um, uh, Zion Griot. Sure. Zion Griot was launched in Senegal. Sure, sure, sure. Let me be a little bit <laughs> country biased. Did the Gambia got their share of this lunch? Yeah, man. Because you once promised us a launching. Yeah, sure. Was it this one that was transferred to Senegal? No, it's not this one. <laughs> Tell me some more. <laughs> I love your question, man. Yeah, this one is. I met up with a, with a producer. Uh, uh, he he, he lives in France, you know. Okay. He's a white guy, you know. So he proposed me this mixtape that Royal, you know. I really love your music, but. Is it possible to have mixtape from you? you mm-hmm. know? We tell him, say, why not? Because artist is still an artist. If you can write a proper contract, I mm-hmm. mean, you know, he wrote the contract and I see it's a good contract. I go for it. You understand? No, mm-hmm. I signed three years with him, you know what I mean? So, and money have to come for the artist, you know, because food have to put on the table. That know? means this is making money for Ryan. Yeah, yeah man, sure. Nice. Sure. And 
the seed I, I only came up with 90 something CDs and it was more than more than more than more than 500 and something CDs in Senegal great so less less I mean inside the less than less than a week I mean I have sold everything so I came up in Gambia with 90 something CDs and I left with 10 CDs here that's a good look you know what I mean so and every artist deserves to get paid, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, Rasta. What's the next step for Gambia? Yeah, man. Right now. That's for Gambia, right? Yeah, man. Right now, that's <laughs> for Gambia. To show you, I'm so biased, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love Gambia, you don't know. Mm. I have two, two, two mixtapes to launch in Gambia. Mm -hmm. Because right now, I have a deal with one tribe. Okay. You know? I record 15 tracks during the Ramadan. Okay. You know, in 30 days, I record 15 tracks for mixtape. So and that mixtape will be will be mixed by by, by Lassis. Okay. You understand? And I'm gonna launch it in in October, you know, twenty what twenty fifth in October. And I will I mean I mean I mean it's gonna be free, you know. I'm gonna give it out for free. Okay. For my Gambian people. Yeah man. The mixtape is called Rambang. Rambang. And in December I have to launch this Zion Griot official launching in December. But okay. Me not, but we not booked date yet. But well, that's gonna be Gambia too. That's, that's gonna be Gambia too. Great. Two launching in the Gambia. Good. One for free. One this commercial. I don't know. Few questions before we leave. If you have to change a few things in the Gambian music industry at large, mm -hmm. what would you tell the people to change? From the fans to yeah, the man. DJs to the artists. Yeah, we have to stop foreign music for two years. That me want. Now you hear that clear. <laughs> Royal Messenger said we have to lock that borders for two years. <laughs> yeah, man. Lock the border for two years. You don't know. Nice. Yeah, man. That's what we want because we want to drive home and legs us and. Uh, <laughs> As from our music. <laughs> yeah, from our music, from our talent. You don't know. Great. That's what we want, you know. Great. Yeah, man. Sure. What's going to be a few things final for the fans today on this show as we're soon running out of time? Yeah, man. For my fans, let me tell them that Royal Messenger is coming with two, 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 two different mixtapes. So, mm -hmm. watch out for that. You don't know. Say, Rambang is coming on the way. And the Zion Griot is coming on the way. So, we can't skylark, you know? Yeah, man. Because we already build the boats, you know? So, still enough to learn and get read, you know? Yeah, I man. have a beat for you here. Yeah, called Kashan. Kashan. Yeah. And that's your thing. <laughs> Royal, check it, it out. No, I don't have you, man, you know? Check it out. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Mm, for the gods them <laughs> Where we got them? Weapon I they got them on me way I they got them in your weapon I they got them in your way Good, 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 got them in your weapon I they got them in your way I they got them in your weapon Come sit up on me bed You know me room, it's nicer than the Pope John Come play me like a bass me, me, me play you like Santana the Mexican Touch your toe, my girl, touch your taste Lamin, bosom around the Sukuterian Birka, my girl, come fill up the blank Maturity, we talk about the one we overstand We no kidnap girls like Boku Haram Fit the girls, them that alone I make we overstand Man and woman, that's a perfect weapon Man type a man, no, that's a donkey one <laughs> E.N.C. tell the girl if you come up a million You don't know, say, Arad weapon Adi girl let me you weapon Adi girl let me you Come out there Adi girl let me you weapon Come join me for me bed You good girl come up for me lean Rasta man I tell you shah that we go shame Good 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 loving Adi boy Them no lean them no no so that the boy can't claim Cause that them we 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 the Adi picture frame You no know, see Adi Rasta you that can't get a clean <laughs> Why that you don't know, sir? Crap, 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 crap. You nailed that one, man. You nailed that one. And thanks for coming, Royal Messenger. I'm blessed. sure we're going to have this again as new yeah, projects come up. Sure, man. Blessed Father. Which people yeah, do man. you want to thank on this show? Yeah, man. First of all, I will thank you, you know, because as a, as a humble and perfect youth, I can't, me, me can't say no, not all about that, you know. Yeah, man. I got a lot of things to start about that because cleanliness is next to godliness. You understand? And Gambia, we love you to the fullest. Mother Earth, you know? Strange full, you know? Ibo, anyway, you're there. Father, blessed media matics. Man, I could not come here. I'm all in the bigger. You don't know. <laughs> That's what's up. Blessed. The bigger Thank room you. Kirby. You don't know. Strange Thank full. Thank you, you know? Royal Messenger. I tell. Yeah, man. And all those who have been watching this, I guess you have a nice time. Check us out next week. Same station. Paradise 105.7 FM. And... Thank you for watching us, man. Royal Messenger music still continue on the show until we go out. Stay tuned. 
for my girl them Ooh, yeah. Check it out, the girl let me love Check it out, but man no suffer For my girl them Check it out, the girl let me love Check it out, but man no suffer for now